Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your October tarot reading. This will be a general reading looking into the month of October for you and any messages that may come up this month. You've had the Five of Wands flip over, the Ace of Swords, the Fool card, Nine of Pentacles, Three of Wands and the Queen of Cups. Okay, Five of Wands. Now, there could be some sort of confrontation or lack of cohesion this month. Now, it could be amongst a group project at work. It could be amongst family members, uh, amongst friends or people that you're in relationships or partnerships with. It might be with another fire sign, Sagittarius, if you are directly dealing with an Aries, um, possibly an air sign. We do have earth and water here as well. So we have quite a bit of everything. But if you are dealing with another sign this month, this could indicate that there is a bit of Maybe confrontation, something's not working together cohesively. There is a bit of frustration this month because of this. Um, now, it could be because you're planning for the long-term future. If you are in relationships with another fire sign, there could be a bit of disruption here. Um, looking to the future, it's almost like you're not seeing eye to eye this month. Maybe there isn't mutual agreement on something that's happening around you in relationships or in work situations. Um, so just be aware that this behavior might be um, occurring around you this month. And it's important to exhibit, I guess, a somewhat um, optimistic attitude towards this. Sometimes ignorance really is bliss. So it's not that you're turning a blind eye to it. It's just that you're not feeding or supporting this kind of behavior. Um, if it's happening, if it's negative um, or if it's unnecessary, definitely in the workplace, it's not tolerable. So you know, you make that known. But look, it could just be there's outside influences this month as well. It could be in the form of gossip. But I really think something you've been trying to work towards, building something, making something, um, trying to see eye to eye or trying to have a mutual perception with someone else. I just think they're not reciprocating this month and their behaviors aren't mirroring what it is that you're putting out Sagittarius so you could definitely feel this kind of tension or frustration this month but look you will prevail you have the ace of swords right next to it this is amazing this is victory coming through for you possibly an air sign coming in um, a Gemini Libra or Aquarius around you uh, I feel like if this is a work situation here I feel like you'll really have to take the bull by the horns Sagittarius um, and sometimes you'll have to confront people and it's not always the easiest thing to do. But especially in these kind of situations, I feel like confrontation is needed um, as much as you need to sort of embrace what's happening here. You, it's almost like you need to tackle it head on. But you've got your sword, you're holding it firm, you're holding it straight. You do have a crown up the top here, which is beautiful. Um, and this indicates victory after a struggle or a battle of some kind. So for those that are currently going... Um, going through breakups, going through divorces. There could be this sort of tension, especially towards the beginning of the month, but this will definitely ease off. And you can see the transition from the start of the month, the five of the wands to the end, which is the queen of cups. So this is beautiful. This does show emotional stability and breakthrough towards the end of the month. So look, you will prevail over whatever it is that's happening here. It could be in relationships as well. Um, there could be a lot of things you want to say, Sagittarius. There could be a lot of things this other person has to say. Um, it's almost like you'll get the last word, or if it's an air sign, they might get the last word. But it, I feel it will be, it will be sorted, and you'll be feeling much more optimistic about whatever it is that's happening here. Uh, again, as I said, gossip or outside influences. Um, could sort of try to cut you down. Could People could try to cut you down. Maybe that's because, you know, you're, you've been really successful. You've hit a lot of quotas this month. You've, you've purchased yourself a nice item. You're taking a luxury holiday. You're doing very well for yourself. And you know, there'll always be people that are jealous. So I think it's just how you handle it, your reaction. If, if you can sort of maintain this optimistic um, attitude of gratitude, then I think this will definitely carry you through the month because the full card is a wonderful card of embracing um, and I guess surrendering to what is, but in the most positive um, way that you can, in the most diplomatic and positive way that you can. It can also symbolize new beginnings. So some of you, there's an air sign coming in. It could be earth as well, but Aries in particular has come up here. And 
I feel like it's someone that will be a part of your future for a long time coming. It could be that they're coming in this month in October. It could be that there's, you know, they're coming in in your near or distant future with the Three of Wands. It could also be that they're um, coming overseas, coming from overseas, or you're going overseas. There could be certainly trips coming up, either business related, Sagittarius, or you taking a trip, or someone foreign that's coming in. But I love that you're embarking on new ventures, new journeys, and new explorations, Sagittarius. This always keeps you excited. It always keeps you motivated. Um, and I love that this energy is around you. I think you've got a great outlook this month and I think you can accomplish a lot with it, with the full card. So definitely new beginnings for a lot of you. Look, there could be um, a heightened exercise regime that's happening, especially with the five of ones. Um, you might be lifting things, carrying things, hiking, being outside, being outdoors, being with nature. That might certainly help you this month, um, you know, to distract yourself, I suppose, from what's going on. It could be this disruption it could be within the family, it could be just family politics and they're sort of taking its toll on you this month and maybe what you need to do is have that outlet to exasperate all that accumulated energy or frustration that you may have this month. But some of you are definitely traveling, possibly relocating or thinking about long-term plans to travel or to live elsewhere in a different country. Um, it could be somewhere very different. It could be quite a wealthy country, lots of money here with the Nine of Pentacles. People are well-dressed. There's quite a refined energy about where you're thinking of traveling or going. I also feel for those of you that are starting a new relationship with the Ace of Swords, the Fool, the Nine of Pentacles, it's someone <clears throat> that is definitely your equal and you complement each other quite well. You know, and I wouldn't be surprised if there's a bit of tension when you first meet. You might not get along or there might be a bit of competitiveness between the two of you and then you'll really see how much you're falling for this person or how interested you are in them and that this hate or this frustration is actually a result of you having feelings for them, which is quite interesting. For those that are coupled up, there could be a holiday planning uh, happening here or a trip or a new venture into um, a relocation maybe or one of you might be starting a new career, getting a new job with the Ace of Swords. But there could be disagreeability about what to do next in terms of how to move forward with your lives. I think a new job or a new purchase or a new venture might somehow complicate things for couples out there. And again, I think this is where this disagreement is going to come in. But if you try to exercise diplomacy and hear your partner out, I think it, would, it will develop quite smoothly over the month. It could be that you're spending uh, large amounts of money as well, whether it's you or an earth sign partner, maybe the pentacles is quite a substantial amount of money. And it could be that you're spending it on collectibles, on cars, on assets, material possessions, material gains here with all the pentacles. But I think this is you, especially towards the mid month and then, and then towards the end of the month, you're feeling really optimistic. There's a lot of hope. Um, and it's almost like you're embracing everything and you're, you're just very happy with the way things have turned out. Look, this could definitely be with a relationship. I almost feel it's a card of luxury, spoiling and gift giving. So it is possible that if you're seeing someone, you might be gifted something this month, Sagittarius. I feel like there's gifts and spoils um, coming coming through with the nine, uh, the nine of Pentacles. Excuse me. So that's that's really exciting. I also feel that someone will come through for you. Someone will follow through with what they say they were going to do. Now, it could be this person that's involved here or it could be someone else completely. It could be a relationship partner. It could be a friend. It could be an associate. But it's someone that maybe you, you relied on once upon a time or maybe you still rely on now, but they're going to come through for you. And I think you'll be very, very pleased with how much they've done for you, how much they've perhaps supported you how much they were um, true to their word or followed through with their actions. And I think you'll be very optimistic here. And there could be some sort of event happening, as I said, going to luxury resorts, luxury villas. Um, for some of you, it might even be a new job with a luxury designer or a luxury product or service. It's a high-end, uh, something high-end here. And you might be working for this company for a long time. But again, there's, there is new starts here, which is exciting, Sagittarius. I think you're always searching for something new, something exciting. Um, 
and you're so adaptable in that sense you just go with the ebb and flow which is amazing i think it's a really good month coming up for you now the three of wands could be a third party situation happening here we do have the full card it can be denotive of foolish behavior here um, now i'm not sure if some of you might uh, see a text message pop up on a boyfriend's or girlfriend's phone i'm not sure if you'll find out that their ex has tried to be in contact with them i don't think they'll partake in any of this behavior sagittarius I just think you might get a little bit upset or you might feel a little bit naive and you might um, it might blow up into a fight. But I don't think this person has any ill intention. Um, it just could be that someone else is showing up behind the two of you. And look, it might not even happen in October, but there is a possibility that there's someone else coming in. Again, it could be family that's involved or, or a friend or someone that's trying to be in your ear. Um, or someone that perhaps is trying to come in between the two of you in your relationship as well. But it could also be the long-term future plans, which I love. So I love that you're looking further afield, you're looking out into the distance, and you're really contemplating what steps to take next. And you're all about action, Sagittarius, so you're not one to sit around and do nothing. You're definitely a person that's a mover and a shaker, as indicated by the full card, and you will be chasing those dreams, you will be chasing what it is that makes you feel like the nine of pentacles look at this and it's in your future it's almost like you have a calling and you're looking out it's responding to you it's calling you it's drawing out your name so this is beautiful for some of you in your career or in a business sense i see there's growth for the business there could be some sort of discrepancies with employees meaning maybe pay wasn't paid on time Maybe they might go on strike. Maybe there's something, a little bit of tension or conflict you might have to mediate if you have your own business or your own company. Or even if you work for a company or a corporation, there might be some sort of um, scuffle that will happen and you sort of need to tend to that. Um, and you need to be diplomatic in those efforts. So, but the three of ones is, is, is strong, um, I definitely see there's long-term planning and long-term future, especially for the business. It indicates that for those that might be financially struggling with the business, this is about to change, especially coming in um, and beyond. So it's the end of a cycle. So those that have autonomous ventures, blogs, YouTube pages, businesses, online products or services, there is an influx of sales coming in. So stay hopeful and stay positive. And I also feel like there's a lot of stability happening here for your long-term future. So I think the choices that you're making or the dreams that you're chasing will be yours for a long time coming. And it's going to bring you emotional happiness, bliss, abundance, and you feeling really passionate. This is you uncovering your passions. There's a holy grail here. And you know, you know, uh, uh, figuratively speaking, the holy grail is what everyone wants, what everyone needs. And however you interpret it whatever it means to you it's something that's attainable it's something that's within reach you can feel it it's there you're deserving of it and you know why so it comes down to you chasing these dreams Sagittarius and it's going to lead you to happiness it's going to lead you to being so complacent so happy with your set of circumstances whether it's financial whether it's emotional some of you will definitely be falling for someone with the queen of pentacles this is a deep emotional connection with people um, so relationship wise there is love that's on the forefront there could even be two different people that you're choosing between you are the ones sagittarius so maybe this is you choosing between three different people a fire air and earth sign maybe a water sign as well there is a bit of everything here but most potently there's an aries <clears throat> the fire sign could be you I suppose if it's not an Aries and then you have earth air and water but for some of you it's taking a leap of faith and it could lead you to wonderful emotional beginnings and wonderful relationships this is someone that you'll see as the holy grail someone that you see you could potentially spend the rest of your life with the rest of your days with someone that you want to be a part of their journey with and vice versa and for those that are coupled up there's definitely travel plans coming up possibly events um there could be a bit of family politics happening with the five of wands long-term planning is happening here and newness 
newness in career. For a lot of you, it could be within the travel industry, the luxury or high end service. It could be in construction for my male viewers out there. Um, and it could be further away, meaning it could be in a remote location. It could be mining or quarrying um, or something like this. Working out on oil rigs as well. It's a remote location that's coming in. And for the females, I think it's a quite a, um, or it could be, you know, blogging, fitness, blogging, hiking, this sort of industry. I guess the travel and tourism industry as well. But for the females, it could very well be with associated with large amounts of money or financial institutions, as well as the males, or working with beauty products, antiques, collectibles, as well. So leave it at that. I hope this reading has been enjoyable.